Good morning, folks. Today we're going to break down a world of weather, watch the death of a coronal hole, and the birth of a solar active region. Let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com, peeking in on the last day on our star, definitely some action up and down center longitudes, then settles back down, and a keen eye will notice growing brightness on the north departing quadrant. Remember the thin coronal hole segment between departing and incoming openings? Well, it has collapsed and disappeared, and the filament lifting up at that point never did get out of the corona to produce a CME. Not as though we don't have another coronal hole on the equator swinging in behind it, though. And now the brightness you'll hopefully have caught this time around, if not the first, is a slight rise up in solar flaring due to the new sunspot group. The solar flares never even cracked C-class range, and the sunspots themselves are already exiting. Solar wind remains somewhat stable, but also significantly intensified from normal quiet solar wind streams. This makes nearly an entire week of geomagnetic instability, or worse, due to these coronal holes. Next one swings across center longitudes today. And remember, Mercury conjoins the sun tomorrow, eyes open for another shake, and eyes on the sun. In Siberia, the temperatures dropped way below normal, even for Siberia. Negative 60 Celsius is negative 60. That's where the North Pole's cold went. And a bit of both sides in the U.S. right now. This is what drove record warm holiday weather in places like Detroit. But it's what's on the western side of these Earth spots that matters in winter. Luckily, this major winter event is moving on quite quickly. By tomorrow, though, another one will be approaching the west coast. A number of tight lows surround down under, finally dropping southward from the rainmaker that stole its moisture from Indonesian waters. Dangerous conditions exist now in the south, and the flooding that did come in that region of central Australia was severe. They've even had to close Uluru National Park. Interestingly, we put out a deeper look on Uluru a few hours before that story aired yesterday. Fun coincidence. The Disaster Prediction app is out for Apple and Android. It's not only got the earthquake forecasting model, but it is the observer's alert system. If anything major actually happens on this planet, beyond just speculation, we can get alerts worldwide in a matter of seconds. Also, our second book is out, Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, and everything right now is leading up to observing the frontier 2017 in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Learn more about the speakers, talks, and the event itself. We did North America and Australia already, so we've got the rest of the world's pressure and radar forecasts coming up, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.